Very lucky. We're in for a great time now on Sky Sports News, joined by the very special Katie Taylor. Katie, great to see you. Yeah, you too. Thanks Thank so you. much for coming in. We really appreciate it. And I have to say, it's IBF, WBA and WBO lightweight champion That's now. Right, You're yeah. clearing up yeah. in, in One boxing. More belt. One more belt to go. One more to go. <laughs> yeah. and we, know, we know you're going to get that as well. Um, it's only been a few days since yeah. you obviously claimed the, the, the WBO belt. And we're waiting for the WBO, yeah, aren't we? That's right. You haven't got it yet. We've yeah. got the other two here. Exactly. Thanks, thanks for bringing them in. Um, have you had any time to reflect on the fight? I mean, it was an incredible performance. Yeah, I guess um, I've been talking to the coach back and forth as well. And it was definitely a great performance against an undefeated fighter as well. And um, it was a solid performance overall. But there's definitely stuff to clean up on as well for the next fight. There's, there's not just things as a pair for performance. There's always things to work on, I guess. And, um, You're hard on yourself there, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Is, that, is, that, is, that what, is that what's been part of your career, always looking for how you can improve, that no, no matter how well you've done? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think that is part and parcel of trying to be the best that I can be. And um, there really is no, no such thing as a prayer for performance. There, there's always really a lot of things to work on, and I feel like I am getting better and better in each fight. Uh, I mean, you described the, the win over Rose Valencia as the, the, the best performance as a professional that you've had. Um, what made it such a special night for you? Um, I just, uh, I guess she was here to win. She had a WBO belt, a, a, a huge unification fight. Um, she was an undefeated fighter as well. She was a very, very proud champion. Uh, she, she definitely came to fight and I knew that right from the start, from, from the first bell she came out and, and with all guns blazing, I guess. And, um, I knew it was going to be a very, very physical fight, but we were prepared for that type of challenge, and that's why we had such a great training camp in, in lead-up to that, that kind of fight as well. Do you know it straight away when you get in the ring with someone like that, and instantly you think, right, I know, I know what I'm in, in for here? I think I knew straight away, even for, uh, that, that's why I, I trained so hard for these fights as well. Um, I knew it was going to potentially be, be the toughest fight in my career. Mm. Um, she obviously came in as a WBO champion. She wanted to take my two belts off me as well, so it was a huge fight for both of us. And, um, that, that was that, that was a huge moment for her as well. I was so. supposed to do it on St. Patrick's weekend yeah. as well, where, uh, yeah. I mean, the support you've had both yeah. at home and in America yeah. as well, of course, where yeah. uh, you're, you're hugely popular there as well. Mm. Uh, how much does that help you as a fighter? It's incredible. I mean, to, to fight in these kind of stadiums, to have this kind of platform is, is an absolute privilege, really. And, um, yeah, to, to fight in, in, in that kind of an atmosphere is, is, is always really, really special. Yeah, and they yeah. do get behind you. I mean, that's your 13th fight as a professional. Uh, can you believe how far you've come in, in such a short space of time, really, Casey? Yeah, not really. I mean, it, it's definitely gone better than, than I ever expected. When I sat down with Eddie Hearn over a couple of years ago, um, I was just telling him that I wanted to turn pro, and I, I never really would have guessed I would have turned out so well. And um, it just kind of has gone from strength to strength really over, the, over these last couple of years. And, you know, female boxing is, is better than ever right now. It's, it's on a high right now. And uh, for the first time in the history of women's boxing, we're, we're seeing the best of women's boxing as well, I think. And that's why it is uh, so special at the moment. It is a special time, certainly is. It's been great seeing your development and uh, so many achievements so far. And you've been attracting praise from, from uh, inside and outside of boxing right across the world. Uh, we've had some words here from uh, certain and Anthony Joshua as well. Let's listen to what he's had to say. Katie Taylor can beat up most men. Um, not saying men are any different or anything, but Katie Taylor can beat up most of these men. She's, she's a real good sport and she's a very charming, calm person when you meet her as well. So it's like one thing in the ring to another. She's massive for women's boxing. I was out there watching Fielding and, uh, and Canelo and I saw her fighting as well. And the arena was basically packed for her. She wasn't even the main attraction. So you can see how popular she is, um, done amazing things in the amateurs. And when I watch her, I learn from her as well. Even as a champion, I watch her and I watch and I think, oh, I need to do something like that. So she has her skills and technique down to a T. She's probably one of the few fighters that loves the, the game more than the fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she lives in the gym, she'll do everything yeah. in the gym, but when the camera's on, it's like she don't want to be there. Yeah. So I think that's, that's important as well because without f loving the game, you're never going to acquire any of the fame. And like she's done everything from like Olympics, fought in Ireland, fought in UK, fought in the States. So you can see naturally her dedication to the sport is taking her around the world anyway and getting her the fame and recognition that you do need in this sport. But don't make that your priority and the principle of why you do what you do because fame and being popular does not win fights.
High praise from AJ there for yeah. you. What, I mean, he's saying that you could beat up half the men in the division <laughs> as well. And uh, yeah. what, what's it like when you hear the praise from the likes of AJ and others? Yeah, that's just so humbling, really, to, to get those compliments from one of the, the biggest boxing stars in the world right now. is an absolute, um, such a humbling experience, really. And um, myself and AJ have known each other for years now throughout the amateur uh, game as well. And he's always been such a gentleman and so, such an, uh, a, a huge encourager towards me as well. And he's always been a big fan of, of women's boxing, which is, which is absolutely amazing as well. Yeah, another big star here with Conor McGregor and others as well yeah. coming and giving you support right across the world. Yeah. I mean, it's incredible. It is incredible, actually, to get that support from, from these superstars is, is what makes this journey so special. Yeah, well, you're a superstar as well, Katie. It's <laughs> yeah. absolutely right. Now, look, we're going to uh, look through some of your potential opponents that you might be facing in the future. I know you've only had a couple of days since your last <laughs> yeah. fight, so sorry to do this with you, but this is one of them here. Yeah. Uh, Delphine uh, Persoon and now holds the other belt in the division, the WBC belt at this moment in time. So would she be top of your list? Yeah, definitely. That's the fight that I want next, actually. To, to, uh, it's always been my goal to become the Olympic Spirit champion, and I've got three belts now and, and one to go, and she's going to be my toughest opponent of data. I think she's been a long-reigning champion for, mm -hmm. for years now. She's been in, in the pound-for-pound -pound rankings for years as well, so she's a fantastic champion, and that's, uh, that's, that fight has been talked about for, for over a year now between myself and Delphine for soon, so... That's, that's going to be an absolute super fight. You're saying that that would be your toughest fight mm. so far. I mean, you're looking at the, the, the stats here. She's 34 mm. years old. I mean, is that something you hope to take advantage of, do you think? Well, I'm 32, so there's, yeah, not, there's yeah. not much of a difference, much, really. Yeah, <laughs> but um, she, she's a great champion. She's um, she's very, very fit. She punches non-stop for 10 rounds. It could possibly be a really physical fight, actually. Yeah. Um, is it close? Yeah, I, I think it definitely is going to be the toughest fight in my career, and mm. um, I am taking it that serious. I have to uh, be 100% uh, going into that into this fight, and uh, she is a great champion, and, and uh, as I said, a long reigning champion. I think, I think she's had over 40 fights yeah. and only one loss. So yeah, you can see really, that. 43 really, fights, one, yeah. one, just the one defeat, yeah. 17 knockouts as well. She yeah, packs a powerful so, punch. Yeah, she's a she's a great fighter all around. So that's that's going to be a fantastic fight, and I can't wait for it. Okay, well we, yeah. we look forward to that. I mean, other potential opponents as well. We'll just look if that one wasn't to materialise for whatever reason. Some other great fighters right now knocking around. One of them is this lady here, Amanda Serrano. Mm. Uh, the only boxer, male or female, to have won world titles in seven weight classes. Now, of course, she called you out, didn't she, after you, yeah. you, you beat her sister, Cindy, in, in October. Could this be another one for you down the line? I think so. I think that the fight between me and Amanda has been talked about since the half turn pro, actually. She, mm. she kind of hops up and down the weights um, crazily, and uh, I think that's this is probably one of the biggest fights in women's boxing right now. It's something that we, we, we both actually want. We, we both express interest in, and um, that will be this will be a huge mega fight if, that, if it actually happened. You saw Pursu now with 17 knockouts, like 27 knockouts from a 36 fight, Serrano. I mean, she, yeah. she she also like likes to finish off her opponent, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah, she's got that. I think uh, got good power in, in both hands, but. Um, I wouldn't be the type of opponent to stand there and and try, try, and then take those shots. I don't think um, I definitely feel like I have what it takes to, to beat these kind of girls. And um, as I said, this is probably one of the biggest fights in women's boxing right now. These kind of fights have to be made. Yeah, so many super fights ahead for you. Mm. So we talk a lot about them in the male division. All these big super fights yeah. have been exactly the same in the female game. Mm. One other that I want to ask you about as well is this lady here, Cecilia Breakhouse. Mm. Uh, someone else you've been linked with potentially fighting, holds all four middleweight belts as regard as the Ring Magazine's current pound-for-pound -pound champion. Uh, would you consider stepping at the ring with this one? Yeah, absolutely. She's obviously, uh, she's been a, a great ambassador for women's boxing. She's obviously the undisputed champion. And if I become the undisputed champion, imagine two undisputed champions going up against one another. That's, yeah. that's a history-making fight, really. Uh, that's a fight that people have been talking about, about as well over the last uh, year or so. But yeah, she's definitely number one in the pound for pound rankings right now. You, you can't uh, you, you can't doubt that really. She's a fantastic champion, and um, I, my goal is, is also to become the, the number one in those pound for pound rankings, and maybe. The way to do it is to actually be Cecilia, the one who's actually at the top of those rankings. Absolutely right. Undefeated, as you can see. Maybe you can put a one in that loss yeah. uh, column there. Yeah. Uh, well, of course, arranging any of these super fights with Katie, you might have a bit to do with their promoter, Eddie Hearn, and he's another person who can't speak highly enough. Just have a listen.
she's been incredible. I mean, she's a trailblazer, isn't she? You know, she's the reason women's boxing is in the Olympics. You know, she's the reason that women's boxing has broken through the boundaries with the broadcasters and the sponsors. She's arguably one of the most entertaining fighters in the world right now. She's my favourite fighter in the world. Forget men and women. She can fight and she can entertain. And uh, I really feel like she's, well, we know she's a national hero in Ireland. National hero and Eddie Hearn's favourite fighter. You're a lot of people's favourite fighter at the moment. I think Eddie says that about all his fighters, though, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> well, OK, well, maybe, maybe. But uh, certainly more high praise. Um, but let's just have a look at your, your style now. We're going to focus on... Um, uh, on, on the, the way you are in, in the ring. I mean, was there any fighter past or present that you maybe modelled yourself on when you got into, into boxing? Um, I think my, probably my favourite fighter growing up was the likes of Sugar Ray Leonard. He could do a bit of everything, really. He, he could box, he could fight, he could mix it up, and, he, and he's the best finisher in the sport as well. Yeah. Um, I loved also watching the likes of Costa Zoo and, and Marco Antonio Barrera. And, I just love watching great fighters. Really. They're all similar. I can see what yeah. you, you like that sort of explosive, exactly. sort of uh, yeah. sort of powerful fighter. They're, they're entertaining fighters, that's for sure. Yeah, absolute warriors in the ring. Yeah. All of those guys, much much like yourself. Yeah. Uh, we've known you for years, Katie. Yeah. Here at Sky, since you were a Sky Scholar yeah. back in the day, yeah. and it's great to have you back in here again yeah, today. But. Um, you always, and if you don't mind me saying, I always you chat to you, speak so softly, so politely. Yeah. I mean, you're an uh, absolute joy to chat to. But yeah. when you get in the ring, it's a different story, isn't it? You seem to explode into life. Yeah. Um, how easy do you find it to switch from the, the, the gentle, softly spoken Katie Taylor we're speaking to you now to, if, if I may say so, the animal we see when, when you get in the ring? Um, it's not that, that hard of a transition, really. I mean, I, I definitely am a quiet person outside the ring. I don't uh, say too much outside the ring, but uh, the other side of me is that I am very, very competitive, and I, I will do whatever it takes to win those fights and, and to entertain in the ring. And uh, Do you have a switch that just clicks when you get in there? Do you have focus that just falls, falls um, upon you? Yeah, I think just on fight week, I'm just, I'm just there for, for business, really, and um, I just want to go in and, and, and entertain and just do my job great. And... Um, I, I, I just feel like I, I am doing what I, what I was absolutely born to do. I, I love to fight, I love to box, and uh, I, I'm living my dream, really. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're, we're loving watching you live your dream as well, Katie. We've seen you go from strength to strength. Uh, what's your dream for, for 2019, then? What, what would be an ideal year for you? How, how do you see yourself going on from the point where you are now? Yeah, well, the ideal year is, uh, for me will be get to get that fine pursue next for the undisputed uh, title, that would be uh, an absolute mega fight for me. And then after that, maybe Amanda Serrano. Mm. And uh, if I can fit one more fight in, maybe uh, Cecilia Bracas. It's, it's a very, very busy year, but they're the kind of fights that I want. And I said from the start, I, I wanted to be involved in big fights, in these mega fights, and I wanted to make history in this sport. And they're, they're the kind of fights that, that will put me in. Um, in history, really. Yeah, well, you're already there, actually. Yeah. But yeah, you, you, it's amazing to see that you want to take it further. Do you see yourself fighting in Dublin or back in the USA, or, or yeah. how, how do you see it? Yeah, I don't really know, to be honest. I think I, I, I leave those things in, in, in Eddie Hearn's hands, really. I'd obviously love to have a big mega fight at home in Dublin. Mm. Um, but for the time being, my, my focus just seems to be in America at the moment. And, and in the UK, I've actually loved boxing over here as well. The support that I get from, from both sides of the world has been absolutely phenomenal. Casey, it's been a pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for coming and really appreciate it. Yeah. Good luck with whoever you do end up fighting yeah. next. I think you've given us a bit of a clue there, but yeah. uh, enjoy the rest of 2019. Thank so Thanks really for coming to Sky Sports Thank News. You. Thank you.